What is up you guys? It's your boy Avery here and I wanted to bring you guys some very, very juicy ass information about the Cyber Style Structure Deck. We have three new reveals and my god, this stuff's actually pretty good. Now do keep in mind, Gusto did die for this. <laughs> so, first up, just take a look at this beautiful ass art. This is Cyber... I forget the name already. Cyber Dark and Dragon. So it's a level 12 at a homunculus, 5,000 attack and 3,800 defense. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it requires Cyber Dark Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. And it can either be fusion summoned or special summoned by tributing one level 10 or lower Cyber Dark Fusion Monster equipped with Cyber End Dragon. So you dump the Cyber End, you bring out the Cyber Dark Dragon, equip it, you're good to go. Has three effects. Unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, you can equip one monster from either graveyard of this card. And this card's maximum number of attacks per battle phase equals the number of cards equipped to it. So you got three cards equipped to it, it can attack three times. That should never happen because I feel like once you drop this thing and equip a card out of the graveyard, you're going to win the game. Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't. So then we have Cyber Dark Chimera. It's a level 4, 800 attack, 2100 defense, dark machine. You can only use this card's name's first and second effects once per turn each. So you can discard one spell or trap, add one power bond from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot use monsters as fusion material for the rest of this turn except dragon or machine cyber monsters and once if you fusion summon this turn you can also use monsters in your graveyard as fusion material by banishing them if this card sent to the graveyard you can send one cyber dark monster from your deck to the graveyard with a name different from the cards in your grave so it gives you the ability to dump the other cyber dark monsters uh like horn uh edge actually you could dump claw and cannon too i don't know what the hell these things do but uh yeah, that, that is an option, which also CyberDark Impact got really, really good with this new support. Then we have Cybernetic Horizon. This card is always treated as a CyberDark card. It's a normal spell card. Keep that in mind. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn, and you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck the turn you activate this card except machine monsters. We don't really care about that. I mean, yeah, the CyberDarks here. Oh, actually, these are machines. So, yeah, you have nothing to worry about other than you can't, you know, Summon dragons, but I mean, these are all machines, so you're fine. <laughs> uh, so, you can only activate one name with it per turn, yada yada yada. You send two dragon and or machine cyber monsters with different attributes to the graveyard. One from your hand and one from your deck. Add one dragon or machine cyber monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, send one machine cyber fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. This card is fucking busted. <laughs> like, literally, you activate this, you dump the Cyber End Dragon, you make the Cyber Dark Dragon. Um, oh, but this says target a dragon monster in your graveyard. And Cyber End Dragon is a machine. So, let me make sure I'm right on that. Yeah, it's a machine. So, what does this one do? The Cyber Darkness Dragon, uh, you can equip one dragon or machine monster from your graveyard to this card. Cool. So, you make the Cyber Darkness Dragon... Uh, and then you tribute it, equipped with this, you get out, uh, big homunculus, big ass boy here, ready to uh, destroy your booty hole, and uh, you go to town. We do have some reprints as well, the reprinting Cyber Dragon for the one millionth time, and then um, Cyber Dark, uh, Horn Edge, and uh, Keel, Heel, whatever, yeah, Keel. Also, I apologize about the ads at the bottom, I can't control that, that's YGO Organization's fault. The reprinting Power Bonds, Cyber End, and Cyber Dark Dragon. The, I, I feel like a lot of these needed uh, needed reprints. So I was looking at some of the uh, the support here on uh, on Dueling Book, and like I'm really excited now about Cyber Darks. Like, Cyber Dark Impact is so good. You get to fusion summon a Cyber Dark Dragon from your extra deck by shuffling one each of the Cyber Dark Horn, Edge, and Keel from your hand, field, and or grave into the deck as fusion materials. This card dumps them into the graveyard. You send a Cyber Dark Monster from your deck to the grave with a name different from the cards in your graveyard. That seems really good. They have their field spell, Inferno, which isn't amazing. 
Um, it doesn't seem all that great. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. I actually never read Cyber Dark Cannon here. Uh, if it's sent to the grave, I'll quit the monster. You can draw a card. Okay, that's cute. Once per turn, uh, you can ditch a card, add a machine, Cyber Dark Monster, Green Deck to your hand. So it's a searcher during damage calculation. Monster equipped with this card battles. You can send a monster Green Deck to the graveyard. So this can also dump the either horn, keel, or uh, edge that you need to just fuel them into the grave as quick as you can. Um, and then use Cyber Dark Impact to get out the Darkness Dragon, which granted, or even just the regular Cyber Dark Dragon. I feel like Cyber Darkness Dragon is going to be harder because obviously it requires five Cyber Dark Effect monsters. But keep in mind, again, this is a Cyber Dark monster and it just says five Cyber Darks, so it doesn't have to be five with different names. You just get your five in, you put them back, bada bing, bada boom, you're going to start making this guy. I'm really excited to see what happens with this structure deck. And how it adapts here to the TCG uh, and how people play this. I really feel that the uh, Chimera and the Horizon is really what Cyber Darks needed to be good. Because, I mean, really, if you think about it, before these cards got revealed, I mean, this was really all that we had for uh, Cyber Dark support. I think, yeah, I mean, this is just Cyber Dragon stuff. I mean, yeah, you type in Cyber Dark, and I mean, this is all that pops up, unless there's something with cards that aren't Cyber Darks that have that description. And yeah, even then, just these cards pop up. So I'm very interested to see what the community is going to do with this information. Guys, please let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? Does this finally make Cyber Darks like at least a rogue strategy? I feel like that they are now at least rogue. Not tier one, not in the slightest, but I think that they are definitely a rogue pick. But let me know what you guys think. Please, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.